What's up everybody, a Sparrow with a Gun here from Sleepless Night Studios, and welcome to the first video of 2021. May it be significantly a better improvement over 2020. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> so, um, I briefly wanted to go over a couple of things, but then we're going to jump right into um, the inspiration episode for today, because I'm probably going to make making a actual update video later in the week kind of thing. Um, first off, I uh, hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and for those of you that don't celebrate either of those, then I hope you just had a really great December for no apparent reason. Anyway, um, the other thing is, for those of you that are on Patreon, I am probably going to be discontinuing, well, I'm not probably, I'm not going to be doing the uh, releasing a week early kind of thing. I'll explain more about that in the update that's probably coming this Saturday, I think, if my schedule is right in my head. Um, but I'll be explaining that more, but just suffice to say there was a bit of a communication issue and it wasn't really benefiting anyone to that extent, so I'm going to be trying to figure out some new Patreon ideas that make that viable, but we're going to go back to just releasing things when they release and being done with it for the most part. Uh, the other thing is for the moment, I'm going to be doing an inspiration episode today and then um, should be Thursday, I think, is the next episode of the Let's Play, and then, like I said, I think it's Saturday will be an update video, not a new series yet, because I've had some new ideas and some other things, so I may kind of do another take on it. I know you guys have already said your case and whatever, but I've got some other ideas. So, with that out of the way, let's get into the episode. Uh, so now, first off, we have the... Hitagara. 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 I, I, I give up. I don't even know. Um, I, I'm sure there's a logical way to say that. I even kind of alt tab to check the, <laughs> the Steam works. I was like, wait, is that how it's spelled? That's, that's how it's spelled. So, yeah, I'm not even gonna try and say that correctly, I've already butchered it. So, what this ship is, I found relatively interesting, because it's essentially a redesign of the big red ship from the default Space Engineers. And I think this has been done before, because even in the description of this build, it references a Mark II. This is technically a Mark III. I don't know if it was done by the same person or not, but this is the third iteration of this design. Now, what's interesting to me about it is it didn't take the original Big Red and modify it. It's actually been designed on a whole different uh, grid, basically, just from the ground up, which I found kind of interesting, because it's not just kind of taking blocks away and putting new ones in, it's actually just a rebuild, which I thought was pretty cool. Also, before we dive too far in, one thing I forgot to mention is that I am very backlogged on um, the viewer submissions for the Inspiration series and whatnot, so if you don't see yours or something and you had already shown it to me or something, I will probably be doing every effort I can to try and get to them, uh, but I'm only doing like three at a time, so I just kind of picked what I like best and went with it. And, but I'm going to try and get to those other ones e eventually at some point. Now, it might take a minute to get to the workshop files because I've had a lot of people that submitted quite a few things. So, with that out of the way, let's get into the head and um, see what the inside of the ship looks like that... I clearly cannot name. Okay, so we have open and close, very clear instructions. I'm a fan. This was a viewer submission, so I hope... I mean, I'd like to think that uh, clear instructions had me in mind. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I do like the... Um, also, one thing I should point out about this build, it's labeled as a no DLC, no mod, purely vanilla, which the no DLC part is becoming fairly rare in my opinion. The no mods, that's probably a, you know, half to quarter of the builds probably don't have mods on them, because there's still quite a few people that really enjoy uh, vanilla, 
But the no DLC one is interesting. Wait a minute. What is this for? That says open. Is that for the side? Oh! Oh, it's for all of those. Okay, why the... Hmm. That's interesting. I'm not sure why there would be buttons on both sides that control all three doors, but whatever. Um, so this is kind of intriguing. It's a glass view to... I'm assuming this is the thruster pod area, which is kind of cool. Oh, no. This is just... There's no interior to the thruster pod. Okay. That's interesting. I thought there would be actually something inside here. Um, one interesting thing I also like about the idea of a retrofit or a refit of the um, the big red and stuff is, like we just saw in here, there's the hydrogen engines and stuff, which those blocks weren't around when they first did the, um, the yeah, the original. And even, even these, now that's cool. It's using the underscore from the letter pad. Now wait a minute. Was that part of the update? Maybe it was. I thought that was part of the Sparks of the Future DLC one or whatnot, but maybe it wasn't. Um, okay, so that's gonna go out that way. Now, is this still all the same controls? No. That's interesting. Okay, so this is the rear entrance. So I'm guessing then if this is all hangar deck, then this is going to get into more of the command and interior, I would imagine. Also, I'm having a little bit of a difficulty identifying like how large the ship actually is, because from the outside it looked pretty much the same size as the red one, but wow, this is bright. This is very bright. Um, but it almost feels a little smaller, maybe? Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not, because I keep finding more areas, so it may be the same size or bigger. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's probably bigger, because I don't remember it actually having this much interior. Okay, so we've got to the command deck area, so this is the main... I do like the change of the glass cockpit for the bridge. Um, there was a glass cockpit on the original build, but this is way more sleek, in my opinion, from the outside, so I definitely like the improvement there. Um, also, I alluded to it in uh, my last video that was talking about the updates to the channel and whatnot, but I am attempting, we're gonna see if it works, um, but I'm attempting to switch editing softwares, um, and so the newer one should allow me to actually isolate the audio tracks, which is something I couldn't do with the old version of Premiere that I was running. Um, so now I should be able to separate audio for the game and my mic. So if there's low spots or something, I should be able to fix that without anyone really noticing it. So, um, oh, that's cool. Got window controls right there. Um, so needless to say, if you notice anything... Oh, that's weird. I wonder what this is for. I guess that... Is that the main? No, that can't be the main. The main's in the bridge. I wonder what this is for. I don't see anything on the hot bar, so I'm, maybe it's an emergency, like a battle bridge, because it is isolated to its own um, space, I guess? I don't know. Mm. Anyway, so just letting you guys know if you notice any weird audio issues or it sounds slightly different or something, let me know if that's good, bad, or whatever. If it sounds good, looks good, then that's cool. If it looks weird or it's not as high quality in the in the video or the audio sounds worse or something, then let me know. Because um, I am still experimenting with all of those settings and getting a feel for the new uh, software. I've been trying to learn all that I can and switch for switching over to DaVinci Resolve since that's a free program instead of uh, the old version of Premiere that I had because I don't want to pay for the new ones. Um, so yeah, just let me know how all that goes. But I think at this point we've seen all of the interior for this. Oh, nope, there's still an area that I'm missing. If I can remember how to get to it, this part. We haven't gone up here yet. I'm guessing this is observation. Yeah, looks like it, because... Ooh, there's stuff back there. I do like this. This is cool. Not necessarily just the windows, but the, um... The inward angled windows where there's still a lip that you can see. I don't know, I just think that looks cool. It's one of those things that I could see actually being done on real ships and stuff, so I just think it's neat. I've got some programmable blocks back here. I don't know if this is running any scripts or anything in particular. 
but it, they are there. They might just be there for if you decide you want to run one. I don't know. We'll see. All right, so we've got two different co-pilot seats, it looks like. I don't see any hotbar controls for anything special. We do have rocket launchers, so we're going to try that out. We got three in the front. Very Airwolf style, for those of you that remember Airwolf. I just aged myself significantly, if you don't know what that is. Uh, <laughs> but those of you that know, you know. You, you, you know. Oop. Did, did it just hit the camera or something? Then what was that? Alright, I'm confused. I don't know why. <laughs> why did that blow up? It's gotta be that it's cycling, and so those corner ports are hit. I don't know. That makes no sense to me. Alright, let's test out the flight. Accelerate's pretty good. Now, I don't know. I don't see any hydrogen, but I think there probably are. Well, uh... There... No? Maybe not. Maybe there aren't any hydrogen. If that's all ion, then I'd say this ship is pretty well optimized for space. Now, obviously, if it's all ion, then you're not using it in atmosphere, but... Um, ions, typically, you have to have quite a few of them to get acceleration to move pretty decently, so I'm kind of impressed if this is all ion, uh, how quickly it accelerates. And it does move very nicely, very smoothly. So overall, I think it's a big improvement over the original Big Red, uh, but I think we're going to wrap this one up here, so let's move on to the next one. Okay, and next we have a ship that was not just picked because of its name or anything. It actually is a really cool ship. We have the Revan 115 Railgun, which I know is... I mean, I, I would have thought it would have been like a railgun battle cruiser, but no, it, it sounds to me like it's a portable railgun, so this should be interesting. Um, but yes, I mean, it, naming something with Revan in it is an easy way for me to pick it. Now, I'm not saying that so that there's a bunch of ships that pop up on the workshop named Revan, I'm just saying it's kind of a favorite Star Wars character. So, um, yep. It was no-brainer. Plus, we had this really cool ship to go along with that cool of a name. I mean, honestly, I was looking... I, I didn't even know what this was called at first when it was being... Uh, it was featured in the... Uh, on my Discord server, the builder was showing me uh, different screenshots of it and stuff. And that, that nose area, this, like, railgun barrel thing with that blue light and... Mm, Mm, I'd have picked it anyway. That's just that's a cool design. Like I, even if the rest of the ship was terrible, this this barrel nose thing is amazing. <laughs> I love this thing because I can, especially when the the railgun was in the title, I could just picture like arcing electricity in this area before it. Mm, mm, just really cool looking. Also. I do like the rest of the ship as well. I do think it fits the design. Particularly, I like this back section. I like these cool shells for thrusters, like these uh, outer uh, casings, if you will. When when people do these cool case type things for their thrusters, I think it's really neat. And this one does an interesting job of blending like this, where it's really squared. And then, like, the back where it's kind of curved and angled. It's like, it does a good job of blending both. I think it's pretty cool. Also, like, these armor panels here. Still trying to figure out how to do those effectively. I've seen them used quite a few times, but something about them... Oh, it's got decoys on it! That's cool! That's very clever. Automatically drawn to the armor plating. I like it. Okay, so this is actually fairly simple to do if you know the right measurements and everything and what degree, what angle to set the rotors at and whatnot, but it's basically just a rotor off of this block. I'm guessing the head is displaced as far up as it'll go, and then you just place the armor block on it normally. That's cool. It seems complicated, but it's actually not that bad. I love the idea of putting the decoys on here, though, because you can't even see it but it would draw fire away from 
uh, the rest of the ship. Also, it'd be neat if this was done in, like, a heavy armor. I don't think it is. No, it's still light armor. I mean, obviously that's a lot cheaper than heavy armor to do. It's more feasible, but it would be kind of cool to have plates like that with heavy armor done. And I suppose if push come to shove... I think... Did they... Oh yeah, they did. Sorry, I'm trying to get down in here again. It's giving me tr problems. So one thing I think is kind of cool is that the rotor head is facing back. So as you were moving forward, if you were taking a lot of heavy fire, you could actually disconnect the rotor head and, and launch those panels off to the side, and it would act as kind of a, well, decoy. So that's kind of cool. I like that. Also, we've got some cool greeble stuff going on here in the, in the trench kind of thing. This is really cool. Um, that's another one of those extra little thing. Takes a lot of extra time, but it really sells a lot of other builds and stuff, makes them look more fleshed out. Just all the little bits and bobs here and there. We've got a very convenient <laughs> uh, airlock here for docking with other ships or even smaller cruisers, I suppose, or bigger ones. Um, let's see here. I was trying to figure out if that's the main entrance or if there's an actual like, ooh, okay. Definitely like this shape. Like that on the bottom right there? Almost looks like it's got like fangs or something coming off the back. Definitely like this ship. This is really cool looking. Oh, and we've got an underbelly observatory area as well. Me likey. Uh, I've got a couple of hangers here. I'm gonna say landing gear for that. I'm gonna. S mm, this one might actually be a hanger, but I'm gonna say landing gear for now. Let's see here we got driver block hanger and we got some underbelly weapons here to keep it protected and not sure why there's three merge blocks four merge blocks there oh there's welders I bet you there's a decoy system that welds them yeah that's probably what that is I would imagine all right see I can use main doors on occasion. It does happen from time to time. Uh, Alright, so very very well moodlit there. We've got a door on that side. What goes this way? It is a little dark in here, but probably supposed to be. Probably kind of a mood setting. Uh, timer box. We've got cargo containers over here. I'm wondering... Ooh! Ooh, is this an elevator? I'm gonna turn my headlamps on here for a second because I just noticed... Is that opening? No? Well, the timer block's blinking, so I'm not sure... Oh, there it is. Never mind. I was thinking this might actually be a elevator because... an elevator because of all the blast doors around it, but apparently not. Okay, so that's that. Let's head up here. We've got a an observatory kind of thing for. I thought I closed that. Close. Eh, whatever. <laughs> It'll close eventually, I imagine. Um, all right, so we've got an elevator going up here. Before we do that. I want to backtrack a little bit and go down into that door over there and see where that goes, because I always try, if I can help it, uh, to work my way up. This is not closing. For some reason. I probably screwed the timer blocks up, but oh well. Um, Alright, so this is... I'm gonna say maintenance. I'm gonna say this is a maintenance area, I'd imagine. And we've got... Quite a few projectors and a large reactor, or two large reactors actually, but they're off. So I don't know if this, like, the ship is just off, which is possible, I suppose, or if that's like a backup reactor kind of thing. I'm not really sure. I mean, it is fairly dark in here, so it wouldn't surprise me. I cannot get these doors to close. I have royally screwed something up. <laughs> My bad. I didn't mean to, I promise. One of these days I will eventually- oh, there's a ladder there. 
But that just go. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing that just goes up so that you could get into a ship that's docked here, maybe? There's also doors down there that I missed. I wonder where those go. Alright, so we'll go up here, and we've got... What do we got here? We've got cryo chambers. I like the lighting for the cryo chambers as well. It's kind of that ice blue, like, cryo. So that's very well thought out. Uh, med bay. Again, kind of a all white. Well, except for the gray, but all the ma all the mater materials, all the machines and stuff are white. I also really like this. These new window blocks are pretty cool. I think that's kind of a neat touch, as opposed to just straight glass that looks cool, but it's kind of makeshifted at best. Um, the actual dedicated. Window blocks, I think, is an is an improvement. All right, so we've got production here. I like the lighting in this so far because it's very much my speed in terms of engineering and production having like a gold amber color kind of thing, and um, cryo having a ice blue. Very very much the colors I'd pick. I am a little curious though that I don't know where those two doors. I was thinking this would come out to those two doors that I missed, but apparently not. Crew deck, main engineering, or main deck and engineering. Okay, so that goes up. This must tie into one of them. Let's go this way, see if we can meet in the middle somewhere. So we got jump drives. Ooh, that's a cool color. It's like a blue hex pattern. Uh, we got piping, which is a neat. This is this is interesting. Because you've got a bunch of black gyroscopes, and then one that's like a grayish white, and then that one's connected to pipes, or tubes, the neon tubes or whatever, that are running to a Gatling turret. So that's kind of interesting. It almost makes it look like it's controlling that turret or something. That's an interesting choice. I wouldn't have thought to do that. That's kind of cool. Uh, so we've got probably readouts and all the jump drives. This still doesn't connect to those other two doors. I'm very perplexed by that. I don't know where those go. Alright, let's see if we can get away with not using our headlamps for a minute. Check and see what the actual lighting is supposed to look like. We have an O2 H2 room. Ooh! Remind me to use this texture on conveyors for henceforth. That is really cool. I didn't know that's how that mapped to that. I like that. I like that a lot. It's got this, like, circuitry outline to it. That is really cool. Did not know that was an option. Um, Alright, so this is obviously the... Um, well, it's... I was gonna say engineering, because of the lighting. See? Lighting does a lot. But it's actually O2 and H2, so you got all the hydrogen tanks, oxygen generators. I don't actually see a lot of oxygen tanks. There they are. I was gonna say. There's got to be some around here. We've also got gyroscopes hidden around, so that's kind of cool. Can I also just say I'm astonished at how many of these doorways and stuff don't, like, connect through to somewhere else. They're just kind of like offshoot hallways and stuff. Ooh, it's got escape pods. That's always nice. Alright. Uh, where are the escape pods? All right, so we've got, this is the glass observatory area, which is very nice. Definitely the place where the captain goes down with the ship, apparently, because, you know, you're down there observing all the escape pods leaving. Wow, I've gotten super turned around in here, too. Uh, I'm guessing this is one of the hangars. Yeah, what I thought was landing gears. But I'm not seeing any actual pods or places to connect anything. So I'm a little confused as to how these are escape pods. We've got more gyroscopes. Wow, we got a lot of gyroscopes. This thing must move fairly well. Because there's a lot of gyroscopes to that. Yeah, whoa, and there's even more. Alright. I'm. A little confused as to the escape pod thing. I guess... I guess it's supposed to be, like, built and then you use a landing gear or something to hold to the roof or something and then you would just attach them. I was thinking there would be um, 
connectors or merge blocks and then there would be a welder and a projector or something, but apparently that is not the method that was used. So we have a maintenance area. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my lights on here. Oh, this is cool. I like when even maintenance areas kind of are well done and not just open spaces kind of thing. It's like this has catwalks over all the conveyors and there's lighting on the walls and stuff. It's like, yeah, that's that's kind of cool. At least it feels like it's supposed to be there and is part of the ship kind of thing. You know, you can get to all this. This has catwalk. Yeah, this is cool. Being able to get to things while still looking like it's part of the inner guts of the ship. I, however, I'm not going to run around all over the place because I'm guessing by the way this is done there's probably a maintenance access point for almost anything on the ship is kind of what I'm gathering. So... Ooh. Definitely went dark. Uh, I do want to see what's behind door number one though. So we got... I'm guessing this is the main reactors. We, we saw the... Ooh, and they've got welders. That's something I'm really terrible at is building reactor type things and stuff with everything having uh, auto repair type things. I always forget that. Alright, so what goes down this way? We've got reactor observation room. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like it. I like the green neon tubing. That works really well. And then this is the actual uh, reactor room we were seeing just a second ago, so that's cool. So I suppose if something was damaged, you could run down here and look at it. So that's nice. Nice touch. Um, all right, so that was the engineering deck, and I think we were we must have been on the main deck here then Let's go ahead and check out storage while we're here. That was one of the only areas we didn't look at before. Ooh, mood lighting I approve Very cool So obviously you've got just a bunch of large storage crates. there, kind of doing their thing not much to look at there I do really like the lighting in that room though Main bridge, armored control room. Ooh, fancy. Okay, we've got the airlock, so that's going to be one of those side ports that we saw earlier. Or not. I apparently missed one of the other entrances. I approve of this ship with how many entrances it has, okay? We've got the main airlock that I didn't even know about. We've got the hangars that we came in through. You've got drop pod areas, which admittedly you can't get through from the back, or from the bottom, outside, I mean. Uh, there's the, there's the air, the, the docking bays where you can go through. I mean, it just, it, for those of us that have issues with doors, or entrance challenged, as I like to call it, um, you know, it's just very thoughtful, is all. So let's check out the crew accommodations here on this here ship. All right, nothing too fancy. Looks like just kind of a couple beds. I'm wondering if there's another area, like a um, commons area or something. There's another airlock, another bedroom. Uh, I've still got my lights on. Ah, so here's probably like the commons area because there's lockers and whatnot. This is the showers. Okay, this is what I was expecting. Usually either the builders are nice and give you, you know, each one of their crew members like a stateroom. Oh, this is cool. I like this. That's pretty neat, having an actual like enclosed antenna area. That's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, usually you either have everything in like staterooms or then everybody, you know, gets a commons area if it's more, you know, militaristic and there it's not like a cruise ship or something all right now i gotta remember which way i was headed Ooh, i like this this is clever so this is also kind of a lounge commons area kind of thing i just got done saying that this wasn't like a a, a cruise ship or something they give you a nice chill area canteen I wonder if it was spelled with a K on purpose. Just curious. Um, also, this always reminds me of like 10 Forward from Star Trek or something when you've got a canteen area that's got like um, 
a, a nice view. There's another airlock. Good grief. I don't know what that stutter was about. There's so... Oh wait, this is probably the entrance from the docking ports. Yep, okay. So this is the docking entrance. Um, I know I did that manually, but... Oh, I guess I'm supposed to hit this button. Let me out. So many entrances, and I love all of them. <laughs> okay, so this is interesting. Coming from there, there's a elevator thing here. Where does this come out at? Wow! This is a big ship! This is one of those, like, every time I turn around there's another room or something. So that's kind of a war room or something. I ain't alive. There's just so many places and there's so many nooks and crannies in this ship. Wait, what is this? Oh, I thought that was a sign. <laughs> Alright. That's a projector. That's off. Okay, got a couple of wood blocks there. Not sure what that is. And then more gyroscopes, because there was clearly not enough in the rest of the ship. Yep, more gyroscopes. Good grief, this ship must fly like a fighter. Or it's a lot more ginormous than I was giving it credit for in the first place, which is also possible. Alright, well, that's that way. I'm guessing this goes down... Oh! Oh! This is railgun control! Okay. We got here. Activate trigger. Ooh! Did you guys see that? That looks cool. Let's try it again. Yep. That looks like fun. Alright. We're gonna have to try that out. I apologize, because we're already at like... 30 minutes or something, but I did not expect this ship to have this much to look at. There's just so much crap in here. Alright, I think this is getting back to the maintenance area. Although I'm suspicious of all this wood that I'm seeing that I'm kind of like, there's got to be a room somewhere. Oh, I bet you it's the captain's quarters. I bet you it's the captain's quarters. Where's this? Oh, we tried that already. Sorry, getting a little turned around here. There's a lot of different little places to go. Yep, that would that would add up because the captain's quarters is uh, right here. Let's see if I'm right. Uh -huh. Wood floors. What did I tell you? <laughs> I knew there was wood floors somewhere around here. So the captain gets his own stateroom and stuff with his own bathroom and kitchenette and whatnot and observatory area. So that's cool. And he has wood floorings, or or she, whoever. The captain has wood floorings, which, of course, gotta give the, can the captain the fancy stuff. Alright, so I think the bridge is the last thing that we need to look at, and the armored bridge, which is a cool idea. Okay, armored control. I'm guessing regular goes that way. Let's take a peek at the armored one first. So this is kind of like your battle bridge area, I suppose. I don't know what the tires are for other than if it's just supposed to be support looking or something, but functionally, not really sure what those are there for, but ooh. You know, it occurs to me that I'm essentially a, an overgrown child that <laughs> all the things that entice me are objects that spin, they're glass and they're shiny, or they're lit. And it's all bright and cool uh, high-tech lighting or something, which is essentially how you entertain children. <laughs> uh, but aren't we all just big kids at the end of the day? All right. So let's see. We've got a lot of screens, and I'm hoping... I've got my fingers crossed that all of these screens do what I think they're going to do when I get in the pilot seat. Press 1 for activation deactivation. Power block display system! That's so cool. Okay, what do we got here? I could just read the thing, but that would be work. Uh, three is railgun camera, four is fire the railgun, 
launch guided missiles and toggle VTOL. Interesting. That's very interesting. Anything else that we got working with? Uh, hydrogen ion. It did say in the description that this would fly in the moon or in space, but you can't fly it in atmosphere. And that's, I think that's probably why there's no Atmo thrusters and whatnot. Interior turrets, Gatling turrets, missile turrets, backup reactors. Eh, eh, see, there's none of that. Laser and regular antennas, and then that looks to be all the main controls. So very simple, easy to use. I like it, I like it. Um... So yeah, let's see. So we have the camera, and then, wait, what was the, we have railgun camera, fire railgun, what was this? Oh, guided missiles and VTOL. Let's check the VTOL thing. I didn't know it had that. <gasps> oh, that's so cool. All right, definitely a fan of this ship. Not gonna lie, that's, that's really freaking cool. I like it. Um, all right. Now, where are these missile things? Oh, that's what the welders are, or the merge blocks are on the side. I couldn't figure out if those were missiles or if those were um, decoys. They are missiles. I don't exactly know what they're tracking to because they're supposed to be guided missiles, but there's nothing else in this world so not too sure where they're going. I hope they don't circle back around and blow me up. That that would be bad. Um, and then of course we've got the railgun, which is four, and that should fire it. In theory, I heard it. There it goes. Not sure why it didn't work before, but oh well. So that's pretty cool, and I'm going to do something I don't normally do, but it's something that has been requested frequently, so we're going to try and do a test fire of these weapons and things. It might make the video a bit longer, but I've had quite a few people that have asked me why I don't, so we're going to try it. Okay, so I've kind of got this set up, and because I couldn't figure out whose ships to blow up that wouldn't be mean, I just picked my own. <laughs> so we've got three shooting stars sitting out here, and we're going to try and shoot at them. So one thing is I don't know exactly how to guide the missiles. Um, now the railgun we do have the camera for so we're gonna try and use that to line that up. So we're gonna start with the missiles I think. So with that here we should be able to just hit six and we've got all of those set up there and they should be f yep they're firing. So I don't know I'm guessing it locks on but they're kind of going all over and I don't know how to actually target them on anything in particular. So I feel like I'm doing that wrong. There's probably a way to target them and I'm not doing it. So let's check out what the railgun does. And I believe I have block damage on. I hope I have block damage on, otherwise this is gonna be uneventful. I do not have block damage on apparently. <laughs> So, when all of you are like, why doesn't he do more blowing up things and blah blah blah, this is exactly why. It took me like 20 minutes or something to get this set up to where everything worked properly because I pasted in the shooting star. Obviously then I realized that not only did I not have black damage on, but it also wasn't the right faction that the targeting wouldn't target them. I was like, okay, well, I'll set it to pirates. He set it to pirates, then the other two shooting stars started blowing up the first one, so then I had to copy it. it mm, frustrating. So needless to say, I have all of these guys far enough away that we can test out the flying, I guess, because we hadn't done that yet. Also, can we just talk about how cool the back thruster thing looks? Because that looks cool. I really like it. Also, I turned off all of the main deck uh, con uh, turrets and everything so that they wouldn't shoot them, and I didn't realize I was catching up that fast. Please slow down. Please slow down. Please slow down. And apparently I missed her at somewhere because something's still shooting at something. I don't even know what's shooting. One turret. There's like one Gatling turret. <laughs> it was a rebel, apparently. Alright, so let's see if we can try this again. 
Let's aim for the solar panels, and we're going to try for the missiles again. So let's try that. See if they'll lock onto them now. Yep, now they're locking on, it looks like. Oof! Oof! <laughs> so, apparently, the missiles... Those do some work. <laughs> and I think that was like six of them. Which we're gonna jump into spectator mode here for a second. Now granted, we're at pretty close range, give or take. But that still did a decent amount of work. Not that the shooting star is like the most combat ready or anything. But, I mean, it pretty much blew it to pieces. It's not functional at this point. So that's kind of an interesting test. So let's try this one. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I know there's one over here. Camera's too soon. There we are. Alright, so let's aim right about there, I think. We're gonna try for a railgun shot. Wait, why did the camera... <laughs> it hit so hard it changed the camera angle. That actually did really good. Um, I'm going to aim for the solar panels, because that's one of the bulkier sections of the ship. I want to see how far it goes through. Dang, dude! It pokes a hole all the way through <laughs> So this railgun's no joke. One more time. We're going to aim it kind of at an angle. And go right there. Now, obviously, they're sparking because that rogue Gatling gun did some damage already, but still... Yeah, no, like, that just took a chunk out of it. Not to- actually, it blew it in half. Not to mention that this fires relatively quickly. Now, if you have the materials and everything on board, but I mean, you can... not really spam it, but you can decimate a ship pretty quickly. But anyways, so we tested out everything on this one, I think. So let's move on to the last one. Okay, so last but not least, we have the Igneous Class Cruiser which I mistakenly kept calling the Ingenious class for quite some time until I just read it not too long ago. Um, this was another, all three of these builds actually have been submitted through my Discord server uh, from viewers, which obviously I think the Inspiration series is doing its job as far as a lot of people keep telling me that it was helpful and made cool builds like this, so I'm happy. I'm very happy to hear that. Um, so this is a battle cruiser, obviously. Now the one caveat with this one is that it is modded. Um, not too much, but there are a decent amount of mods on it, so if you're a strictly vanilla player or something, that may be kind of a, a no-go or something to that effect. But overall, um, I think the ship design is pretty interesting. The color palette is obviously very striking, um, but I like the overall ship style and things. And I also do like the black and gold parts. I'm not the biggest fan of purple, but that's just me. I do like black and gold though. It's a very regal kind of look to it. So I think that makes up for it in my opinion, but that is an opinion. So there's probably quite a lot of people that like the purple and that's cool. Also, this does use the recolorable thrusters. So that's how they, the green ones are here, which I think is really neat. And honestly, I know the game is kind of like, what, it's hydrogen, and this is, but, but I do kind of almost feel like recolorable thrusters should just be a thing at this point. I don't really know why we can't change the colors of them since there's lights that have RGB and stuff in them anyway, so I don't get the point of it. Anyway, I digress. So, um, there are a few, oh yeah, that little uh, bubble thing, it, it does use the defense shield mod, so it freaked me out at first when I was sitting here. Uh, reading the description, it kept like, whomp, and I was like, what was that? I just caught it out of the corner of my eye. Um, what does this little do? We got like a little disco ball going on here. Oh, that's the shield emitter. You can tell I use this mod frequently. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of weapon mods and things on this as well. There was not a lot of different stuff. Mostly it was just, um, there's a couple air vent type blocks and there's some armor things and stuff but mostly there was a lot of weapons and like the whoa 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 what in the world i just started getting super framey out of nowhere that was really weird let's try that again if that doesn't happen again that would be a bad thing 
Uh, what do we got going on here? Close Rover Bay. Open. Let's open it. Um, yeah, that little pulse thing you just saw. Yeah, that's the shields. Um, so there's quite a few little uh, mechanics and things in here in that it can house rovers. It has fighters. I think there's actually fighters included uh, with the blueprint. Um, so there's a lot of little things here and there that you'd want to be mindful of. And the description does have quite a few... How do I close this? Is there a close button? Oh. Okay, rover bay hinges, rover connector, rover bay locks, hinges... Uh, is there a... Oh, close rover bay. That's what I was looking for. Hopefully it's not totally on a timer block, because if it's on a timer block I could have royally screwed it up, but whatever. Um, oh, that's a neat idea. Wait, that's a... Is that a double hinge? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. So this is, for those of you that may not have recognized it, because I didn't, this is a hinge, a large grid hinge, with a small hinge part. That might be a mod, because I don't remember there being a hinge 3x3, three three, but it is a small grid. This is a large, so I'm not sure. Uh, but anyways, that's one of those that it's either a mod or it's like the replacement rotor head thing. I'm not quite sure on that one. It's hard to say when it's a modded build. When it's vanilla, it's clearly something you can do in the game. When there's mods involved, I never really know what's what. Um, but yeah, there's quite a few little hangar things and stuff on this ship. I believe this is an... Wait, are my lights not working? Weird. Um, so yeah, this is another... I'm guessing... Dorsal? Hangar? I didn't see hangar doors anywhere. I'm confused by that. Um, is I guess there's buttons in here. So let's try that. Uh, well, I thought there was buttons. Apparently not. I don't remember there being a hangar door out here that I can recall seeing. Well, is that merge blocks? Nope, that's conveyor. Oh, okay, that's arm. That that's modded. I don't know what that is, and I'm stuck. Let me out. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's very interesting. I don't see any controls for it anywhere. I would have thought they would have been in here. If they are, they're just not showing up for me. Oh wait, here we go. Inner hangar. Hangar connector one and two and three. So inner hangar? Wait, it's internal? Oh, that's why I didn't see it. It doesn't actually lead outside from the top. Interesting. That's kind of cool. So it's like a second floor hangar. All right. And like I said, it comes with the fighters here. Um, and I'm guessing this is out the back because I think I saw a back hangar. Or a, an aft hanger for the accurate among you. And like stuff like this, the recolorable thrusters, the one block airlock, it's like I, I, I don't know why these aren't in vanilla already, but I digress. Um, so these were... okay this is the stairway. I think we can turn these off now. Uh, we've got main, main med and cryo, so there's probably another med room somewhere. It's interesting how they really made use of a lot of these uh, airtight, or not airtight, the, the one block hangar door things. That's kind of cool. Again, kind of one of those, you'd probably just use those everywhere instead of doors if they were in the vanilla game. Um, it also does make use of all of the DLC, um, as I, I remembered that when I saw the wasteland shelf unit things here. Um, so keep that in mind, because again, I can't really remember. I feel like if you... Oh, these are another thing we need in vanilla too. Um, I can't remember if you can use a blueprint that doesn't have the DLC in it, or if that was just if you were on a server and you didn't have it. There was something that Keen said about that that I don't remember what it was. But anyway, if it matters to you, it uses all the DLC as well as mods. There. That... that Simple and easy to remember. Um, Alright, so I am getting fairly turned around in here. Oh, that's glass. Alright, so we've got a, I'm guessing, crew 
headquarters-ish, although there is medical here, so this may still be part of the medical area. I'm imagining. Probably. We have one toilet. Because clearly that many patients wouldn't need more. <laughs> Alright, we have um, kind of a docking airlock area here. Which is probably one of the main entrances. Again, the rover entrance is probably also easy because if you landed you could just lower the, the ramp. Um, so that's probably going to also work as a main. Ooh, I don't remember this one. This is a corner airlock door. That's cool. I really don't remember that. All right, so that leads back to the second floor hangar overlook thing. Um, we've got... I'm not really sure where we are. This is the gyro... There's gyroscopes here, so I'm guessing this is part of engineering-ish, maybe? Um, looks like production areas. We've got cargo containers. We've got, um... Oh, elite assembler. So that's using the tiered system, I think. Um... So I'm going to say maintenance. This looks like a maintenance area to me, because you can get to everything, you could repair it. So I'm going to dub maintenance. And normally, unless the area... Oh, now that's a cool trick. I really need to remember to do that, dagnabbit. In all of my builds and stuff, anytime I'm doing timer blocks or anything, I always forget that you can just do a rotor, lock it, put a small rotor head on it, and then you can just use small timer blocks and programmable blocks, because it doesn't really change anything about it. And I always forget to do that. Anyway. This I really like. Because if this is what I think it is, this is essentially an armory kind of thing. We've got lockers, we've got, um, well, I guess this is, it is an armory. Alright. Because uh, if you've ever been to, like, gun places where they've got a gunsmith or something, there's usually a cage kind of thing. So I think that's a cool touch of putting your lockers and armory blocks and stuff behind a, a cage kind of thing. It makes it feel more practical, in my opinion. Got a cool shield spinny thingy there. Area head depressurized. We've got a store, survival kit. Okay. So again, kind of thinking... Oh, that is the same area. Okay. Just the other side. So I'm definitely thinking maintenance for this area. Um, also, again, I didn't intend for this video to be that long, so I apologize, but most of you always tell me that you don't care how long the videos are, so I hope that rings true, but because we're clocking in at almost an hour. But I did take the extra time to do the weapon test for those custom railgun things and stuff like that, so that slowed everything down. But, I digress. It is what it is. So, I also like this. This looks like the main bridge, I think, if not observatory area. Also, like the use of the transparent LCD screens here. Very cool idea. Really like that. Um, and the holographic thing here with the glass over... Yep. <laughs> this is working for me. This is working for me. Is this exterior? Oh, what was that? There was writing on that. How does... Good AI is watching you. How did that happen? That's... I don't know how they did that. Either that's a modded block, or that's like an LCD screen with a texture on it or something. That's kind of interesting. Alright, I'm gonna guess Captain's Cabin here. And maybe, or maybe just officer's quarters, possibly. Because there's a couple of them. So we're gonna go with office qu officer quarters. Um... Interesting. It's kind of cramped in, in there, back over in here. I can't really, like, get around here, but, you know, a lot of, uh, <laughs> anybody that's ever seen the inside of a submarine or something can tell you that they're, uh, pretty cramped. So, that's cool. Um, what goes up here? This might actually be the main bridge, or it's the observatory. I'm gonna say observatory, because the other one had an online, or a transparent screen which probably gives you readouts and stuff, though I do think this kind of stuff is cool. Love me those clear LCDs with some random information on them. This is interesting as well. The roof thing almost looks mirrored. That's kind of an interesting ceiling. I like that. 
Oh, there's first officer's quarters. All right, so this is first officer and the other one's probably captain's cabin. So the other ones were probably officer quarters then. Um, all right, so let's test that theory out and see. I don't know if I'm if I got everything. I feel like I did, but I very easily could have missed a lot. I don't know. Um, what do we got here? Rocket launchers, shield control table, exterior spotlights, jump drive, landing gears. Um, in the description, the landing gears were talked about as having some issues that couldn't seem to be resolved. So we keep that in mind. Um, I'm probably not going to mess around with them too much because of that, and we're not really in a space to land. Um, open hangar bay, we already kind of saw those. We're not probably going to worry about all that too much. Uh, we've got cameras in a lot of the different rooms, which is a good idea. Uh, Self-destruct, which I'm not going to be pushing. <laughs> um, I'm guessing this is a fire once or something. Either that or it might just be toggling them on. Let's see... Um, wait, is there a group for rocket launchers, maybe? Heavy weapons. A lot of these are turrets, though. Like, the rail guns and all that. That's gonna be... Oh, all weapons. Let's try that. Let's, uh, let's go a shoot once. Let's try that. I don't think it went well. Um, you know, it occurs to me that that may have been all weapons from the fighters inside the hangar. So probably should remove that. <laughs> um, yeah, so a lot of these weapons look like turret type things, so I don't know. I mean, I'd have to go in and manually, like, group them all or something and, and do all that because I don't see an actual fire control. So we're not going to mess with that. Um, we are going to test out the flight, which I'm getting a lot of clanking. It's probably from whatever I blew up inside the hangar. Um, so just ignore all that clanking. They do accelerate really quick. I mean, you are using modded thrusters, so and there's a relative speed mod on top of it, but um, it does work well and it moves really good so um yeah obviously it doesn't show well with all the clanking and smoking and stuff for me blowing up stuff inside the ship actually it kind of reminds me of those cartoons where like they swallow the dynamite and then it's like Poof, and smoke comes out of their mouth you know it's like we had an explosion inside nothing to worry about we're fine uh but i solely br blame user error for that uh, with that, we're going to wrap things up for today. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.